Hey everyone, Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and it's time for our cost to build a mining rig video for the month of October. And I actually got a good one here for you. We went with the AMD RX 6700 XT in this particular build because while it may not be the most powerful GPU out of the stack, it is certainly one of the efficient out of the 6000 series for AMD. So throughout this video, we're gonna go over the pricing, the build and everything, and at the end, go over the profitability but make sure if you like content like this that you hit the like button to let me know so I can continue making it. For the system build, I am going with the Intel LGA 1200. Almost messed that up there for a second. Because the 1200 socket is cheaper than the 1151. The 1151 market, at least, and CPUs have just gone crazy in prices for dual core CPUs so or processors. But we got the Intel Celeron G5920 with the Asus Prime B. 560 plus now this is a full-size ATX board because we want to use the available PCIe slots because we're still gonna have to use a splitter uh, Because this motherboard only has two by ones and two by 16 But we also have m.2 if you wanted to split that one out as well Then for memory nothing too crazy green PCB crucial four gig sticks 2400 speeds But it gets the job done for our mining related tasks as far as storage, well, the SU6350, you know this one by now, or at least you should, is my storage device of choice, and it's on pretty much all my rigs. So, yeah. As far as pricing, I have the RX 6700 XT at $850 a pop. That's the street value or the secondhand market or whatever you want to call it of these GPUs. Uh, some pricing has gotten better, but not all pricing. I mean, I've seen more availability for the NVIDIA 3000 series. Uh, than the AMD series, but I have seen that uh, the 6600 XT is more available uh, than most and even the 6700 XT actually I just got one and if you look down in the description I'm gonna have a link to the cheapest one that I could find on Amazon You just may have to wait a little bit, but it's gonna be up to you to determine Do you want to pay that pricing or not as far as power though? This is where we need to be a little bit uh, more uh Focus because guess what the stock TDP of this GPU is 230 watts and remember if driver crashes power goes out Overclocks fail whatever it may be you wind up pulling that stock power Through a bunch of splitters and you can have a real big problem on your hands So I always calculate for the stock TDP of the system rather than what we can get it to when we're mining so I do have an EVGA BQ850 watt. Two of those might do the job. You're going to have to run some splitters and everything. But what I would recommend personally is to combine this 850 watt from EVGA with a HP server power supply from Parallel Miner. I always talk about these guys. Uh, really great stuff. Really cheap pricing. And if you combine this power supply with the ZSX breakout board, you can actually power the entire system if you got two of them. Uh, like one ZXX breakout board and one regular breakout board, which looks like this You could power the entire system, but maybe just go one ATX and one server power supply Just note in order to get the full 1200 watts You got to be on a 220 or 240 volt not a 110 or 120 so just bear that in mind as I mentioned before I wrote this GPU off at the beginning of launch uh, But it really has gotten better over time. So even though the hash rate may be very similar what I notice is with the power of the more power tool you can actually reduce the power draw of the GPUs you can get these GPUs close to I want to say don't quote me on it but like 90 watts maybe maybe like 120 or lower for sure and the mining calculator has it at 140 watts for mining ethereum but you can definitely get this card a lot uh, much more efficient than I was able to at the beginning okay so with that said I want you to know one more thing. These GPUs, depending on the model, can have dual 8-pin or dual 6-pin. So just make sure if you're splitting it out, if and you pay attention to what you're actually drawing through that PCIe connection. If you're taking a the you know the EVGA's PCIe by uh, 6 plus 2 pin and you're only connecting the 6-pin, that's 216 watts on that one strand. And if you're pulling more than that, through that one strand, you might have a problem. So check out my video on how to power your mining rigs. I also did an update in my how to build a mining rig GPUs uh, video talking about powering them safely. 
I like to use six pins connected to the riser and six pins um, or six or eight pins connected directly to the GPUs. But we are, we are going to have to split them off in this particular system. So this is nothing new to the mining community. I just want you to be aware if you're a new person that you want to make sure that you're not drawing too much power through one single strand. Like you're not trying to power two of these GPUs with one six pin splitter because it has only one eight pin on each GPU. That, that You don't want to do that because just in case it draws too much, you can wind up melting some stuff. So with the overall parts list gone through, what I want to talk about is frames. Obviously you can buy a frame for cheap, 56 bucks. Tech Shinji did a very good video talking about a budget mining frame. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars. You don't even have to use a frame itself. You can use a shelf. You can use a case turned on its side. You can use a number of things. You can get creative. You can go to a hardware store, get the parts you need, and make your own frame if need be. Don't go expensive. It's completely unnecessary. So that's the frame. We need to split out the connections. As I mentioned, this ASUS board only has 2x16 and 2x1, so we can split it out so that way we have enough connections for all of our GPUs. So a splitter like this will work. Sometimes these come DOA, so you might want to grab two. And then we're going to need the risers, of course. So this is a six pack. This is all the GPUs we're going to use in this system, or at least this build. But if you want to go eight or more, you're definitely going to need to get more riser packs and then some good splitters. Now, endless splitters I've used before. Uh, they're pretty good. I even used um, deep in the mine splitters. They're pretty good. But I want you to know it's taking a six pin and splitting out to dual eight pin. So just be mindful. Brandon Coyne even had a recent video of where he had uh, issues with some, some splitters. I can't remember the, the product name, but some splitters were starting to smell kind of melty, okay? So just be careful, be smart. With that said, the profitability of six RX 6700 XTs right now is about 20 bucks with Ethereum. But Ethereum is not the only cryptocurrency around and it's not going to last forever, right? So we're, we're, we're coming up on... Uh, 2022 and sometime in the middle of 2022 ethereum is going to switch to proof of stake and it's no longer going to be mineable so we're going to have to go to the next best thing what is that well everybody can give their own speculations and thoughts and i even done it but we really don't know we know that some of the network hash rate or is going to be split amongst the various coins but the top coins after ethereum is Fero, raven coin rio and flux uh, ethereum classics a good contender or any of the crypto night gpu is a good contender uh, but here's what I got for the overall setup. So the total price of the system is going to cost us about 5700 plus. So if I rounded, up, rounded it up to $5,800. So with Ethereum mining 6, 6700 XTs, uh, we're looking about this is the average. But again, we could get this power draw a lot lower than what they're reporting here. And at 10 cent per kilowatt, 1% fees, $5,800 hardware cost. We're looking about $20 a day, uh, both in revenue and profit after electricity. So that's not bad at all. And that will be, uh, that will help you break even or, or, or recoup your, your overall investment in about under 300 days right now. And I don't think we have 300 days before Ethereum switches to proof of stake. So you're going to want to weigh that into your factor if you're building a system right now. Moving on, Ravencoin, it's going to take a lot longer, 453 days, and you're making an average of $15 to $10 a day depending on the market conditions. Ravencoin can pop, Ravencoin can dump. It really depends on the market conditions. The next best coin right now in today's market is Firo, and you're looking anywhere between $20 to $15, and that will uh, let you recoup your, your investment in about 346 days or 350. And those coins aren't going. And Ravencoin and Firo aren't planning on going anywhere. They may change algorithms, but you should still be able to mine with your various GPUs. So that is a promising thing. Uh, right now, the best bang for the buck is Ethereum, that's not always going to be the case however that is going to do it for me today what i would like to know is in the comments hit me out let me know what are you mining what hardware are you using if you're planning on adding to your mining rig collection what gpus are you are you planning on on grabbing and stuff like that i was like i said i was able to grab a 6700 xt i was actually able to get it for 550 a little bit over msrp or, but it was really close to the msrp because it's not the uh the base model from amd it's actually an aftermarket power color red devil card so i think that was a really good deal but i will have one linked in the description it's also a red devil it's just going to be a little higher in price and you'll see that the ship date is going to be a lot further out so it's going to be up to you to make a decision on which one you want or if you want it at all but uh yeah 
do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe notification bell to stay up to date what's going on as well as check out the links in the description to parallel miner where you can get that power supply setup zsx breakout board everything that i mentioned most of the links down there are affiliate links and they do help out the channel so i greatly appreciate your time and you all have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you next one